my my family cooked. My mom is a great cook. My grandmother is a great cook, and my grandfather was a great cook. And, and it just it was something that was always happening in my house. And you know, in that way, it was easy to take for granted. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it as a way to spend time with people and you know show affection and, and you know entertain. Uh, and I didn't realize how much I had. A, you know, needed that until it was kind of gone, until I left home. And I think that's one of the things that really drove me back to it. So I opened Easy uh, about 17 years ago. Uh, and what I really wanted to do was be in business for myself. Like I wanted to be an entrepreneur, I wanted to have my own thing. And I found through traveling and school and whatnot that I, I was okay at cooking, that it was a skill that I kind of possessed. So really cooking was my muse and having the restaurant was part of my ultimate goal is to, to be in, you know, be an entrepreneur, be in business for myself and, and that's really what drove me to it. My wife will sometimes get frustrated because I never really cook the same thing at home. It's not like I have a, uh, a, a certain thing that we just do on Tuesday nights or anything like that. It's basically like, all right, I look at the cooler or the fridge at the house and I'm just like, all right, I'll make this. Um, but, but, I will say I'm a huge fan of the roast chicken, mashed potatoes, and hair cover. Like, you know, if there was one, one meal to sort of rule them all at the house for me, that might be it. There's this arc of experience that you can create with food that we look for in food that makes, you know, enjoying a dish possible from the beginning to the end. And sometimes it means there needs to be different things on the plate that, that sort of interact differently with each other. And sometimes the dish just needs to have a story or have a personality. Um, but we do that through flavor, we do that through seasoning, we do that through fat and acid and heat and all kinds of stuff like that. But it's, it's important that there's a, an arc of experience to every dish. Just like there should kind of be an arc of experience to every story and every person that's telling it. I think more and more people are accepting of us doing different things on a daily basis. And I think, you know, especially in the Old South, for a long time there was the one dish from the one place that you wanted to go get and it needed to be the same every time. And we really have worked hard to sort of break that mold uh, for a couple of reasons. One, we get bored with making the same thing over and over again. And then two, you know, tomatoes aren't great in the wintertime. And so if your dish is a tomato dish that everybody comes to get, it really is just kind of kind of not be as good in the wintertime and be a lot better in the summertime and having that inconsistency is, is not what we strive for. So the ability to move and change and, and add these sort of non-traditional items to our menu um, is fun for us but it also helps pull the guests along on this kind of journey that we like to take them on. Because we change our menu every day, a little bit every day, our most popular dish is always sort of changing. Um, we have seasonal favorites, and we have things that people kind of gravitate to, but really, I mean, the thing that we sell the most of consistently is oysters. So oysters on the half shell is something we do really well, and throughout the year we have different varieties of oysters, but we always try and maintain a good supply and a good, a good variety of really fresh uh, Gulf, East Coast, and West Coast oysters. So the style of Easy is one of those things that's kind of hard to put a, a pin in sometimes because it definitely morphs over time, and, and Easy is this great sort of uh, amalgam and foil for for so many things. So we take our inspiration from what we see, what we like, what we what we don't like, and, and a lot of what is available to us at the at any given moment. So it could be uh, you know, what what little sweet produce just came in, or what fish is available, or so on and so forth. But we try and stay true to a, a home base, which is really great classical kind of French technique, um, southern French, southern American flavors, and, and put out food that, you know, it excites us for lack of a better word. Um, we stay away from, you know, more sort of esoteric ethnic preparations, but we'll, you know, some ingredients will creep in from time to time. We just like having fun. 